Okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> All right. So while he comes on, uh, let me just do the quick introduction. Evening, sir. Evening. So, um, welcome to another episode of K Talk Live, a presentation of the Kiwanis Club of Friends Across Borders. Now, the mission of Kiwanis International is serving the children of the world, which is one which one that sees the movement focusing on the development of the child from before birth into adulthood. One major project is the Young Children Priority One, which focuses on children prenatal through five years in four main areas, maternal and child health, child care and development, parent education and support, safety and pediatric trauma. Our discussion this evening will cross over from YCPO to older children, and we wanted to center in this discussion the role of fathers. There is a misconception out there that Jamaican fathers are not involved in the lives of their children. A study done by Professor Maureen Sams Vaughan actually says otherwise. This was published in 2018. But for some, and I think these are the ones that get the most of the attention, they are shirking their responsibilities. Our host this evening, uh, Sandrina um, Sandcastle, and our guest, Richie's Feelings, otherwise known as Richard Bailey, <laughs> will take you on the journey of a father. I'm going to hand over right now to our host, Sandrina, who is going to take us through this conversation. Sandrina? Thank you so much, President Chris. Mr. Feelings, we almost felt like we couldn't find it, but I know it's our fault. So it's so good to have you on. I don't know if the persons who are online are like me. I swear we're going to get some nice little, you know, a little juggling. But I had the opportunity to learn so much more about you as I prepared for this conversation. Um, and I'm very excited to hear, you know, a lot about your journey as a father. Got a chance to catch up on some videos on your IG with your beautiful daughter. And just so you know, before we start talking, it's 300 out of 300 she gets for the black outfit, right? So please know, 300 out of 300. So just go and adjust your caption after we get off the live. But let's start at the beginning. I mean, it was a lot of years ago, but you learned you were going to be the father of twins. Tell me a little bit about that part of your life, what you were thinking, and what made you decide that you were going to just jump into the journey and go all the way. All right. Um, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Um, good evening. I found out I was going to have our get twins. Um, and my baby mother got down at Jubilee. Because each time she was supposed to do the ultrasound, be a problem. Machine mm -hmm. now work, and this now work, and that now work, and one bag of something. So, sister, the year me going to get twin, but it's like, you know, you never believe until you see. You know, on Thursday morning, when I go down, me like, in a 1997, I said, look at something. One boy, one girl, and two white, two white basin, two white sea two basin. I said, well, I'm too pity at a basin. The mother said, Richard Twin, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. I don't know, 18 year old, what are you going to do? So I'm going to look work, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to do all of the something then. So, you know, when I get twin, most people get identical twin. Mm -hmm. Two girls, two boys. You know, me get the opposite. It's a girl and a boy. So, frightened as a young youth, got twin, this me get, you know, was a bomb. Now, no, no stroller or no pram I don't know where you want to call it, but with a response, get up with me two youth, them got them saying, you have a youth, you have to go out the road a morning early, get the youth walk, morning man. breeze. Say, no, me that out there with me two youth, them stay so, morning breeze, dying for morning come, come on, show up, me pity them. Richie, you get enough ratings from your bridge in them because you got twins. Was that a big thing back then? I was a twin, a whole heap of, whole heap of man get twin, man. A whole mm -hmm. heap of man get twin. 
it was a big thing for me and for my bridging them. Remember mm -hmm. my thing so I know when my bridging them feel or think or forget ratings. Remember you know when I get youth and I ratings that a responsibility that I get really and truly, you know. Yes. So anybody can go sober and say, hey, big up yourself, but a responsibility where you have to stand up to. So I, I that go on. All right, so, so the first thing that you've taught us tonight is when you get your children, it's not no ratings, it's no, responsibility. I'm not rating when I get youth. I'm not rating when I get youth. You know, any man that can get youth, for real and truly, it take, because I'm always telling you, it take a village to raise a child. So when mm -hmm. you get two child, or two children, not two village, you want? Right? Did you, did you have that village, did you have that village to help you with? With the, the two of them? Well, you know, so my grandparents, they did it still, you know, but remember, I'm my responsibility. So, I never did that really depend on nobody to take care of my responsibility because mm -hmm. I'm so young and never know how to be a father. I just say, I don't want to be a father because coming from a volatile community, somebody for things that happen and me I say. Young youth are dead and me say, you know, so I want you to carry on my legacy. I never have no legacy because I never have built none. But as I say, I, I, I can't dead and I, and I leave. Not, I see it out there. But I not even did that thing, you know? I just yeah. say, I think about say, boy, I want to leave a youth. But I would leave a youth and I dead if it, and I would take care of the youth. So I just that go on where I have to step up to responsibility from early and do the right thing. I want to ask you an important question. When I was reading an article that was you know, written about your journey, it talked about the different jobs that you took, the different roles that you played in an effort to provide for your children. Um, for those of us who haven't gotten a chance to read that, you know, I want you to tell us a little bit about that journey. And the other thing more you put some, some pressure on is culturally a lot of people feel like once daddy is putting out the money, once a father pay for school and buy food, then that is it. What is your take on that? All right. Um, you know, in our culture, what we have is always mother get talked about. Mm -hmm. Fathers don't really get talked about like that. When I hear them talk about fathers, it's like the worst thing you always hear about fathers. Oh, him run with God and him not take care of him, pit me and him not this and him not that. I know as also we live amongst these people for years, born and grow, I always say, I would never do that with my youth. I wanted my children to grow in one home. I never want them spread out all about. Like how you see some people spread out. So, coming from a, a volatile community, again, as I said, is you're there in a community and see children born and see them a big can of big people and, you know, pampas, messy and nose are run. And so, I always say my youth, them can't do that. I mean, I mean, I mm -hmm. allow that because you can burn and grow in a, in a, a year and you don't be nothing like the era. It's just your mindset. But a lot of people just blame it upon society and say, you know, so the thing set. Me never want that. Me want, well, I wanted to be the best father I could be. I wanted to give my youth everything that I never have and more. So, to take on a role of a, of, of, of a father, any man can get a youth, as I said, but to be a role player in all genres, especially when the youth, them small. When them small, them kind of vulnerable. And when them vulnerable, you know, say, you can't have too much uncle and too much auntie and too much. You have to instill your good thing in them and make them know, say, oh, this is this and that is that. You have to make them know the right thing. Right? So, it's a, it's a big responsibility and I realize why I would if a man run from it because them the things say just getting a youth and just buy one suit of clothes or buy a pack of pampas that are it. Mm -hmm. Remember the time and the patience are the most important thing we have for the youth. Giving money alone now the work because I if a father drop off money. But he never go up at the youth school and find out. He don't even know one of the teachers. He don't know one teacher. He don't know nobody. But he just knows. Yo, no man can't say me no mind my youth, you know. 
Because I remember, you know, I pay my youth school fee, I give my youth, them, them book on my youth, them all right, but I just that alone. But it takes yeah. more. You see me? Because I remember, you know, everybody find time to wet them who are find time for. You see me? You can't do busy when you come on to your youth. Listen, Richie dropping gems tonight. Please press the share button. Somebody else needs to come on and hear this. It's not no ratings, it's responsibility, right? And the money alone is not going to cut it. The kids need time and patience. Do you have any um, memory of when, you know, they were younger and it tested your, your patience? As, as you said, the responsibility is, a, is well, a difficult one. A lot of men didn't know that it would be never, so hard. Like my, them, them, when them young, I, when they my baby, them now got test my patience because remember, say me always wanted to do things with them. I wanted like I like my son never creep. My son get up and run. Oh. You understand? My son never creep like when yes. some baby creep. My son does get up and run, right? And my daughter, two of them. Like them live, them live, and uh, them do identical thing. Them just do them own thing. You understand? Them just do them own thing. So it's like my patience never test. Cause everything what them do was like a joy to me. Because remember, my father wasn't there because of Dottinega. I would say wasn't there because of Dottinega. A woman tell life on my father. I mean, my father got prison for a crime when he never committed. And a prison me go go know my father. When me a ten year mm -hmm. old at the first time I see my father, like see. But my father always write a letter to me. I always write a letter to me. Every birthday I get a letter from my father. I always get a letter. I can guarantee that I get a letter from my father. So when I go look for my father, and I like me ask him about oh prisoner, oh this or oh, that. I just can't remember what then I read and we open up to all different things. But once you get youth, when I get youth and decide, say, yo, me have a day for me youth, and me have to do everything for me youth, there's a lot of sacrifices where you have to make. Because as a young youth, you have to go and buy your pants, and you never can buy the pants, because your youth, them have your pants. You understand? You will go and buy your shoes, yes. you never can buy the shoes, because your youth, them have to have shoes first. Because remember, me older than them, me a big man. So, me can go and wall out. I can't make me youth them go without shoes. Because I remember them time they are nappy where they are and pampas. You see me? So we have nappy and we have shimmies. You see me? And then we have some something called onesie. Them time they were the all in one um, thing them where, where, where they put the baby in. They call onesie. So you don't know. We never have no rich uncle and a rich auntie. Mr. Mm -hmm. Boy, you know? I will get things from foreign and rare. But as I said, some nice people didn't it, 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 it love them, you know? And them deal with them the right way. And my daddy and come used to work at national, you know. Used to work at national. I look, I look forward to the first day when them got school. Like the first time they went to basic school. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we look forward for them to leave basic school, graduate from basic school, and go primary school. And then they pass. And when they pass, they go to high school. So I go through the whole of the stages. Many fathers can't say they go through that. I have memories of all of them there because I was there. Mothers are always there. 95% of mothers are always there. 5% are wicked mother. Me that put it like, say, 5% or 10%. You see it? But just put it like, like that. Because mother is always mother. My mother this, my mother that, my mother this, my mother that, my mother that. Because father does have him edit him, him just run gone. You know, I can't mother this and him run away. But we not run away. We just there de de with our youth. And, you know, when them teeth come out the first time, and them have got talk about this tooth fairy thing and talk about you get you them a dollar when them teeth come out. We go through the whole of them, what are them something there? Remember one time when them reached about nine, them talk about Santa Claus. And my son tell me that I said, Santa Claus dead. So she said, Daddy, I true. I said, Santa Claus is me. There's no reason. <laughs> 
If it's Santa Claus, no man come down the chimney. Look which part they live. Look which part they live. We don't have no chimney. No big fat man come jump down. Mr. Mayor, big fat man. Mr. Mayor on the Santa Claus. Every time we don't want something like me go no. See? So, no for them things that were no parents have them youth that think some only about falling ish. I mean, I do that. And yes. the youth them falls up. Me on the Santa Claus, me on the tooth fairy, me on the everything. See? Because I can't follow American family and all them believe in a them thing. We live at Jamaica. Right. We don't know about a Santa Claus. Remember, say, as soon as we get big, we start to have Christmas tree and present and that tree and them something. There. We don't grow that way there. See? So there's a difference. And then again, now you have a point where every man loves one and them son have a girl. And never want to hear same daughter have a boyfriend. Because he's more protective of him daughter. So me have to deal with them two things there. See? Because remember, you know, your son have a girlfriend, you say, Yo, my son a gallus. Well, as soon as I hear say your daughter have a boyfriend, you start thinking it hurts you. In Jesus Christ, she have a breed, murder, woe. You start talking all kind of things to yourself and get mad. You start one tell her, say, make sure I know you say not have sex. And this and that and that and that. You see me, but me and my youth them always have a relationship still where we sit down and reason about everything. Uh, you can't hide the truth from the youth. You can't walk that dog, you can't dilute it. Speak the truth to the youth, them. I remember we are the first set of liars to the youth, them, you know. And you'd we, prefer that they hear it from, from daddy than they hear it from anybody else. Of course. I better them hear it from, remember, you know. Enough people don't want to say certain things to them youth, but them youth don't open up to society already. Because remember, you know, you in the house and I teach them one thing, but when they pull the door and go outside, they open up to everything. See? And I always tell people, if you're not ready for responsibility, you have to leave the youth thing alone. See? No youth is a mistake. No youth is a mistake. None at all. Yes, you're not a girl. Go on, we don't look out at and this and anything can happen. You see me? While well, you have some people who lay down and say, this is what I'm going to do tonight and plan on it. And then when the responsibility comes, people are saying they're not ready. You can't remember saying no, enough man said they want to get a woman pregnant until she really get pregnant, you know. Yeah. Some man just want to say, yo, yeah man, I'm a woman that shall breed for me. And him balls a shall breed for him, man. He never did it. But we, I want doctor visit with her. Remember, 99% of the man in Jamaica, they not a clinic with them baby mother. Clinic don't know them. Clinic don't know them, you know. Because in, in, in the still like said nothing on a clinic or oh, a woman I don't want to go to a clinic. And some like some some like we hear some man reason more time you have to wonder. Because enough man never know how good it is when time you go in a clinic and see them with a baby mother. Because you see through them see so much so many single mothers come a clinic. When them see a man and him woman come in, them get too quick. Them get too quick because they must say, Whoa, a man come here with a baby mother. Jesus Christ. Six baby mother are friend in a clinic. Everybody still don't eat orange and banana and pine now and bag. Yes. Let, me, let me remind the persons that if they have a question for you, they can put it in the in the question section. Don't think it's me alone asking um, Richie any questions tonight. If you have a question, put it there. And brings me to this question since you're talking about, you know, the hope some people are prepared for it, some people are not. How would you advise, you know, somebody who has a child, the relationship is has failed. Um, and you know, man and woman, we, we, we're not, you know, and it's not as smooth, but we want what you want the father to still be involved in the life of the child. How, what kind of advice would you give to persons who are in that boat? You know, not everybody has the perfect situation. Nobody relationship is perfect. And sometimes two people in a relationship and it feel it don't work out and the man move on or the woman move on, but them have a child together. Some man bitter. Because he must say, in a female, in a female woman, that him, him can't, him, she can't live until him said them left. Come here, man, say these things all the way. And him, when she not deal with him, he's gone the child. 
You don't give the child nothing at all. Him just bitter because he can't believe that the woman really get over him because this is the woman with him with seven years, nine, ten years, twelve years. And sometimes he mess up, sometimes she mess up, but there's a child still involved. A ignorance cause it with the, all the woman them to because she bitter how the man move on. But them forgot to say them have a life with them created. So them just bitter and selfish and us actually get back at each other by suffering the child. And then the sister, oh, the child are hurt because I watch this. Them always say one room pit in a grow good. But pit never grow too if too much you had no grow good either. Pit never grow, them always have about one room, you know. Pit never grow go by Auntie Dana, Uncle Joey, Father this, Mother that, a four yard that, you know. That is four yard. So, you are teach independence and self reliance in your yard. And then when you pick me, go out there, you pick me over the yard there, and this beggy beggy mentality come in. And over there, so I deal with couscous and chase chase and mix up. So you pick me just absorb everything because remember, you know, the children, them brain, you know, quicker than anything else, you know. Yes. So anything where you spit out, and that them are going to take in, you know. But enough people that think about that. Them just say, yo, I wish you got our auntie. Ghana auntie and the auntie are one big zongo zeng will have, have different different man come our yard. Zin and the youth there as your little daughter now they don't wanna get exposed to enough things. See? So when you see your youth start act certain way you now and out of character way you know, used to, you have to say, where should get that style from? Where should get that style from? And you not think I say. You would have think of your neighbor, what are your neighbor? How are you over your sister? You have to go learn that. If you, if you check, enough time when they hear it, enough of the youth, they sing some song. When you ask them, they hear it. They say, on their mother phone, on my father phone. Because most of the time, children live with them learn. Richie, you see a question popping up in the chat. Somebody wants to know if you want any more kids. And I hope you use that opportunity. When you answer that question, Tell us about the little addition to your family that I know you love to your heart. Um, and you gave the backstory in the article about her, but she's such a beautiful, beautiful little one. If so do you want more, more kids? kids? Yes. Yeah, I always want more kids. But remember, say, when I get it, I have to take care of it. I don't have to get, get a, a, a youth with any, anybody. You have to get a child with somebody who you know, the same mindset as you for take care of the child it's going to be all about the child and not about your feelings sometimes because remember sometimes a woman can be very neglectful in time so you have to that because the time we are living now, know it, it, it really serious to get a youth i want to pray a youth right now because the world now move to right so i want to pray a youth forget a youth right kind of spinning around too fast. If 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 somebody missed so, the first part, I just have to I tell them. To pre you thing right now. Richie not pre the you thing right now because the world not so stable. But he also said that having a youth is not about ratings, it's about responsibility. Um and he also shared with us the importance of putting in time and patience with your youth, making sure that you are there for everything that is happening with the child from start to finish. I hope you're hearing me, Richie, because I'm not sure if I'm hearing you. Now you're hearing about your phone. I spin around. I know I said spin around. It is a spin around like yeah, Cinderella. <laughs> Chris, Chris, please jump in and help me here because I'm spinning around as Richie said to spin around. Go ahead, Richie. Yeah. I mean, I hear you still in you know, but I mean, hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something I'm over here. No, you yeah, tell me no. Like the internet no, moving slowly. No, extended pit, me. I have a whole heap of extended pit, pit me. But I have one in Pele. Everybody know about Pele. Internet has just the out right now. Everybody know Pele. Who know about Pele? Pele, I'm a little 
Kirk. I look up and I reach your Wi Fi now. And I reach your Wi Fi. You ain't him, Kempi or Kempi. And I reach your Wi Fi. Because when I hear me, and everybody else are delayed. Yeah, there they are hearing me, right? I'm hearing you, man. You're telling us about Peely. Wenyem, Sadie, now Wenyem. Sadie. 